And I think there might be even be a few running around up here. Look how cute. Hey everybody, a new patch drop today. Oh, this one's exciting. It's patch uh, 0.220.041. And they say it's the Dwerger companion patch. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right, check this out. See what it says here. In this patch, we finally bring you what you've been asking for the most, a real companion in the world of Valheim, a Dwerger ally. That's right. You can now befriend and encourage them to breed. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. Let me go in game and show you what it looks like. Hey everybody. All right. I'm here in game at my Dwerger tower base and check this out. I've got Dwerger all over the place and watch this. These guys will not attack me and they don't take damage of course because they're tame. Yep. That's right. The new patch allows us to tame them. And oh, if you don't know one of the other recent patches, you can now put the wisp torches all around and they will clear the mist. And so you can create little paths like this and the mobs, the creatures in the game will not attack the wisp torches, the seekers and everything. They won't attack them anymore. So now you can help to clear this, uh, the mist a little bit, which is pretty awesome. Okay. Let me go in here and show you how this is done. So, oh, before I go in, I should mention that this, Taming process to tame the Dwerger uh, only works at this two story uh, Dwerger ruin or not ruins. It's actually a full building, but it's a two story building. It's because that's uh, the one that you can actually, you know, quote unquote, raise a family in. <laughs> yep. All right. So when we come into here, oh, let me uh, shut the door here so they don't get out. But check. Oh, they're all gathered at the bottom of the stairs. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I got a bunch of little ones in here and look, they're, they're holding the weapons that are full size. Now I, Iron Gate is aware of this. It's a, it's a bug. They're not supposed to be holding anything. So, uh, they're going to release a patch soon that will fix that. So they're, they're actually not holding anything, but yeah, look at these little guys. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. They're so cute. And when they, when they're not holding these ridiculously big weapons, uh, they'll they'll look even cuter, but uh, eventually they'll grow up. And if I come up here to the second floor, so what you have to do is uh, you have to get uh, I'll, I'll show you the comfort level you have to get, but you need to set up a bed. And here's how I did it. I, you, you need the dragon bed and you need to find a male and a female version of the two that you want to breed. So right now I'm breeding the rogues because I've got enough mages but uh, I've got one, a, a male rogue there. You see, he's got a beard and the female. Oh, let's see. Uh, well, you saw she didn't have a beard there. If I can get it. Oh, she turned again. Does she turn again? Or she just, I think she's just like inside. Oh, there you go. No beard. So you get a male and a female together. And I got these stairs here so that I can throw some food in here. And now they'll only eat Mist Hair Supreme, all of the uh, Dwerger, um, I guess the Mist Hair Supreme gets them into the mood to make a family. And if you do that and you wait a few minutes or maybe a few seconds, they'll, uh, oh, there they go. <laughs> See that? Yep. There's the heart. So one of them ate it. And uh, yeah, eventually they will have some little babies in there. And then I'll let them out to run around so that they can grow up. And I think there might be even be a few running around up here. Look how cute <laughs> on the roof. Okay. So how do you get this? Well, like I said, you got to set them up on the uh, dragon bed here. And I just put some fence posts here and you can push them up on the stairs and get them onto the bed and then fence them in. And then, uh, you need to get the comfort level in the building up to at least 15. And so I've got the dragon bed right there. And if you look, I don't have, uh, oh, I fell into the hot tub, which you, you're going to need. Uh, you don't see your comfort level here, but if you go on the stairs, then you actually get the shelter. You see that? And I've actually got 16, but you need at least 15 for this to work. So you'll, you can only need one rug 
because the rugs don't stack anymore, but I just put a few down for decoration. But, you know, you can use the armor stand to get a point. You can use the uh, one, any of the thrones to raise your comfort level. You need the uh, hearth and you can kind of clip it into the wall here so that it doesn't stick out too far. I think it looks pretty cool like that. And uh, that will give you some comfort. Then you need the hot tub. You need uh, the round or the long table. Uh, it's funny, the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, other table, uh, the new marble table doesn't seem to add comfort. Uh, and up there, you see I've got a banner. But yep, if I stand on the stairs here, you see I've got uh, comfort level 16 because I'm sheltered. I guess the stairs provide more cover than these floors, I guess, don't really provide shelter. But the stairs do. And, uh, yep, when they're in here and uh, they will um, start to breed. If you get the comfort level up to 15 or higher and you place the male and the female on the bed. Okay, so how do you get them there? You know, when you first arrive here, you, there's a ward usually back in the... Oh, and I've, I, did I mention the armor stand? Yeah, I got that too. Um, there's a ward back here somewhere. And so, yeah, you've got to destroy that but if you destroy it they'll aggro and they'll attack you and then you'll have to try to get these guys from another location and push them over here and that's just a pain so what i did is i set up um, a series of walls uh, and i led them down i pushed them down <laughs> all the walls were here i removed them but i pushed them all the way down and into this just little house here and then i closed them and luckily, there was at least a, a male and a female. I had to find males and females of others from some other places and push them over. It was kind of tedious. But uh, yeah, once you get them into this house, you can come back up here. It's far enough away and the, the, they're in that house. They can't see you. I don't run into the spike, stupid. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but then you can come back here and you can break the ward and they won't aggro you. And then you can push them back into the house and up the stairs and into the bed and get yourself some little babies. Oh yeah, so cool. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, before you go, just know that this is an April Fool's joke. Gotcha, yes. <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed that's fun i've done an april fool's video about how to tame an untamable creature in the game uh every year so this is the third year but uh and i actually made i think one or two others so check out my channel if you want to see those fun videos for how you might be able to tame those uh, in a fantasy world that said hey if you guys need a g portal server you can save 10 percent with my link jirok the viking dot com slash g portal yep check them out if you want to get some viking products check out my sponsor the grim frost at jirok the viking dot com slash grim frost thousands of modern and historical viking products no baby dwerger though unfortunately there <laughs> and uh one other thing is if you if you if your computer is getting a little slow and you want to run uh, valheim or anything else a little bit faster check out my sponsor zydax computers yep you can go to jirok the viking dot com slash Zydax and get yourself a custom or pre-built gaming machine. That's right. And they have an uh, unmatched lifetime parts and warranty on desktop computers. I use them myself. You should use them too. You can help me out if you use my link, jerokdeviking.com slash Zydax. All right. That's it for now. Have fun out there.